So to replace the capacitors on the preamp board, uh, I've taken off the bottom cover and the top cover, obviously. And we're going to need to remove these plates. There's one screw here, there's two screws on the bottom side, and that'll allow you to remove that plate. And that plate uh, so you have access to the board and you'll be able to do any soldering uh, to remove the capacitors and install the new ones. So with the plates removed I was able to get access to the underside of the preamp board and as you can see uh, I've got all of the capacitors, the electrolytics anyways, are all replaced and then we'll do a cleanup on the board. So here are the capacitors we changed. There are a couple hundred microfarad uh, axials four 100 microfarad radials, and then six uh, 10 microfarad radial nonpolars. So next I'm going to go after the output amplifiers, and it looks like to get the output amplifiers out, there's a connector down here that we can get from the bottom side. There's an RCA connection here, and then it looks like there's six screws, one, two, three, uh, three on the top, three on the bottom, that we should be able to just remove the entire assembly. So we'll give that a shot and see if we can get it out. Here's another look from the bottom. Here's the connector. We'll pull that apart, the, the RCA jack over there, and then we've got uh, six of these screws to remove. We should be able to get it out. So those connectors and those screws uh, did allow me to pull the uh, board out as an assembly. And as you can see, uh, we've got some axials here, here, and these two. This is a nonpolar axial, and we've got a nonpolar radial that we got to replace. So to get access to the back side of the circuit board, I removed the two decorative covers for the transistors. I'll pull those transistors, and then we'll be able to uh, remove that board and then be able to access the back of it. Okay, so the capacitors are changed. I take a few minutes to clean up the back of the board. Also, you can see the RCA jack. I took a few minutes to polish that up so we get a good connection on that. And then also on these transistors, I cleaned up the uh, contact points on those things and polished the leads as well. So we get a good connection on those. Here's the capacitors that were replaced. Uh, this one was way out of tolerance, almost about double its nominal value. The other ones were over, all of them were over, but not all that much. So hopefully this will make a difference and uh, we'll start bolting this back together. So I've got it all back together and hooked everything up. What I like to do is uh, test it out before I go on to the next board. Uh, if there were multiple boards done, I wouldn't know how to chase it back if there were any problems. So every time I finish a board, I'll put it back together and test run everything. So we've got this back together, playing some music here. I also noticed that there was a problem with the left meter and, that ne and it needed calibration. So while I had it apart, got the meter out, took off the outer cover, loosened the center screw. You can only loosen it a little bit. Um, that allowed me to rotate uh, the adjustment lever on the bottom counterclockwise so that I could bring the needle back to zero. So we'll put it back together and give it a try. So now I'm going to go after recapping the tone control board. You can see I got the amp on its side, top and bottom cover removed, and that'll give me access to the inside of the tone amp or the tone control board, as well as access uh, to the rear of the board. So it took a lot of gymnastics <clears throat> with every tweezer and 
needle nose pliers I had to get in there and I've replaced all of the uh, electrolytics now. So here's what re was replaced. There's six 10 microfarad nonpolars and there's four 50 microfarad. Uh, each of them was, uh, I don't know, 10 to 25 percent over its nominal value except for one of these which was open. So I'm glad I got in there to replace it. Okay, so here's the final test. Everything's back together. Meters adjusted back down to where it should be. Um, all of the boards are working. Everything sounds crisp and clear. And we're gonna play some music to give it one final test here. Kings and Leon was playing out the whole ride. He had a notion to say what didn't feel right. So thanks to Jordan for permission to use his original music.